Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Periscope. Thank you, Prayer Rhyme. Thank you for coming. God bless you so much. The topic today I have is very dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. Many pastors, many churches, many people, they don't like the topic that I'm talking about today. They don't like and, and they don't talk even. They don't want to talk it. They want you to remain with curses. They want you to stay in that bondage and you give the, them tight and offering. They don't care whether you are on curses or what. The, what they want to see is you come every Sunday, you give your tithes and offering and say grace. That is it. They don't care about what you are going through. And as I'm going to talk this topic, the demons, the kingdom of darkness is going to manifest. And they will come. They will send their agents to bring destruction. Don't worry. Don't look at their, their destruction. You focus. You focus on what I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to help you to break some curses that has been working in your life. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Jesus has sent me. God has sent me to you to help you. So just focus and pray with me. These prayers, even if you don't understand it, just pray. God is going to help you. God is going to help you. The angels is as calm and is taking every prayer point to heaven. This is the prayer which is going direct. No demon, no powers of darkness will hold these prayers. Once we do any prayer point like this, the angels take them direct to heaven. It is the prayer that has been formulated by the Holy Spirit. It is very powerful prayer that you, you don't need even any, any destruction, even anything. Anything that would bring destruction to you. Jesus Christ is a yoke breaker. And he has come to break every curse that has been pronounced by evil in your life in Jesus' name. The topic I'm going to talk to you is called Stop Curses, e Evil Pronouncement and Incarnations Made Against Your Life. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Stop Curses, Evil Pronouncements and Incarnations Made Against Your Life. I'm going to read from the book of Numbers 20, 22, verse 25. The book of Numbers 22, verse 25. 20, verse 25 the bible says and the bible says there are balams that are hired by the wicked to put curses on people there are some parak there are some paraks balams that are hired by wicked to put curses on people there are some wicked people called balams you know param Barak hired Param to curse the children of Israel. The same thing that, that is going on in the world. People, wicked people, they go and hire a cursor to come and curse you. This is a good example we see from the book of Numbers 22-25. Whereby there is people, there is a man called Bahanam. Who was hired to cast the children of Israel? He, he was paid a lot of money to cast the children of Israel. But God, God stopped him. He said, you cannot cast what are blessed. Therefore, I am here to come and stop every curses that has been pronounced against you. I am going to stop every curses, evil pronouncement and incarnation made against you. In the name of Jesus. The presence they presence your case before evil altars and the priests. They pray evil prayers against people, holding evil virtues, virtues and over evil pretension against people to limit their lives and arrest their progress. These wicked people, the, the, the param, Panams, those wicked who have been hired to curse people, they present their case, they present your case, before evil altars and the priests they pray evil prayers against people holding evil virtues and over evil pretension against people to limit their lives and arrest their progress that is how wicked it is 
Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. In the book of Genesis 49, verse 1 to 4, here is a man called Jacob. Jacob of all the people. Jacob, a man of God. Jacob who was speaking to God. Jacob who was blessed by God himself. Jacob who, 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 who manipulated and still is, is brothers, uh, uh, both, uh, pride, uh, part of his brothers. Jacob of all the people. Jacob who knows God. He could not forgive his own son. He used a curse to curse his son. Look at uh, Genesis 49 verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, Then Jacob called together all his sons and said, God around me, I would tell you what, what would happen to, to each of you in the days to come. Gather together and hear you, sons of Jacob, and listen to Israel, your father. Reuben, you are my first, my firstborn, my might and the beginning of my strength, the excellence of integrity, and the excellence of power, and stable as water. You shall not excel, because you went up to your father's bed, then divided, he went up to my court. So Jacob, Jacob of all the people, he cast his own son, his own firstborn son. He didn't have mercy. He destroyed him completely. He destroyed his generation, his life. Some of you, some of us, the curses that have been affecting us, they are the curses that our forefathers issues against our sons, against, our, against, against their sons, that is coming to affect you. You've been praying, you've been doing everything, but the curse I said, your forefathers issues, it is still affecting you. You may ask me, Jesus Christ came to take away the curse. Yes, very good. Jesus has taken the curse by the way he has taken everything. But you are in the church. But you see the curses is working. Because of sin, these curses would never go. Jesus died because Jesus was sinless. You need to live in a life of, of righteousness. Because of the sin, that, that, that curses cannot go. Sin is sin revival the curses. The devil used the sin to revive these curses. So the curses, the curses of, 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 of Reuben went on to his generation. They were few until the man of God called Moses went and helped Reuben. As God has sent me to, to, to you to help you to break the curses that has been working in your life. Therefore, let's, let's look in the book, of, uh, the book of Deuteronomy 33 verse 6. The book of Deuteronomy 33 verse 6. Moses said this about the tribe of Reuben. Reuben, let the tribe of Reuben live and not die out. True, although they are few in number. Now, a man of God who understand the consequences of the curse, he went and helped the family of, of Rappen. After his father cast him, and they were a few number, they were dying. I, I can explain that more and more, Father, in the next, next, next coming uh, prayer. I will, I will show you what happened, how Reuben and the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Reuben, I'm, I'm telling you that the curse is very serious and very dangerous. It is working. That's why you need to stop evil pronounces, pronouncement against you. That's why you need to reverse every curse that has been issued against you. You have to walk in the right way. There, where there is a cause, there is a curse. The curse cannot work on you unless there is a cause. Because Reuben did a mistake. When he did that, that mistake, and then his father, his own father, put a curse on him. And the curse worked on him. And people were dying. They were, the, the people died, thousands of people of Reuben, the tribe of Reuben. His, his people died. There were few, very few numbers until Moses came to help him and break that curse. Therefore, I am speaking to you. Every curses that has been issues in your life, I command them to die in the
the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft hire a witch to come and curse you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command that witch to die with this curse in the name of Jesus. I, I pray every power over in evil petition against you, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Pray like this. Every power over in evil petitions against me, die now in the name of Jesus. Let them die. Every power over in evil petitions against me, die in the name of Jesus. Treasure, write it down. If Rinda is there, she can write it. You can see. Every evil power over in evil petitions against me, die. Die in the name of Jesus. Let it die. Let every covenant, let every curses, let every pronouncement to die. It will not manifest. Some people, they are cast by their husband. Some people, they are cast by their wives. Some people, they are cast by their children. Some people, they are cast by their grandmothers, their grandfathers, their grandparents. Some people are cast by their uncle, aunts. Even in school, even teachers can put a curse on you. When children are messing up because of ignorance, you find you have done something. Now, because of that, the curse will come straight and catch you. Jesus has died. He has set you free. But the, the sin, when, when you go to do something which is not right, the curse will come and it will land to you and it will come and torment you and, and destroy your life. Therefore, I break and destroy every curse that is crying against you. Every curse that is working against you. A lady was telling me one time that she lives with the, with the neighbors. And the neighbors refused to cut, to cut the class in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in their compound. So the class, the class was growing, was growing, and it was like pushing. So he called the, 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 we called the, the city. For this neighbor, now the city came and arrested and do what 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 the, the city is supposed to do. Then, because of bit of this this neighbor, the neighbor went and brought a witch and they cast this woman. This woman has been sick over I don't know twenty years. She has been sick, sick. She can't she can't she can't walk from from the chair. She can't do anything. So when I was praying with this girl. This woman, I saw a big curse blessed on her. And then I was asking, I interviewed her, I interviewed her, she, she was forgetting completely. And then the Holy Spirit revealed to me what, what happened. And then I asked her, who is this neighbor that you were fighting about the push? And then she remembered. After she remembered, she started telling me what happened many, many, many years. I told, I told her, that is what the curse, because you did this. And now the, man, the neighbor was so bitter, he went and bring a curse on you. This is the curse that has been giving you problem. After I break that curse, the woman's chamber up and, and she walked. I'm telling you that they stay safe because some, some of you, you, you have no idea. Stealing. You know people have a spirit of thieves. They can steal anything. They can steal even a bottle of water. People who have the spirit of, 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 of stealing, they have, they have ritual. They can they can, they can even steal the, 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 the drink, the, the bottle of, of water. You have only that bottle of water you want to drink, and somebody come and steal it. You feel bad. You look at, where is my water? Where is my water? Because you had only that water you wanted to drink, somebody just come and steal it. You put a curse on that person. That curse, curse will work automatically. If this person, he cannot break that curse, if he doesn't know the work will come, don't think that the, the curse is a big, big thing. It's little thing as little as the mouth the person pronounce a curse against you, it will work. A man, a, a false prophet, a false prophet came to me and looked at me said, because he was so cherished and greedy, when he looked at my ministry, he said, my ministry is big. He saw the ministry, but he said, you know, your ministry, you are not called the deliverance and healing ministry. That ministry is, you are not called, you, are, you better go and look for a job and do something else. I told the person, I reverse it. The evil pronouncement, that is evil pronouncement. He was pronouncing evil against my ministry. And I know God has called me and this is my ministry. But because he saw what is in this ministry, he wanted to put the evil pronouncement against my ministry. So I reverse it and I told him 
You are wrong. Your prediction, it does not function. I don't believe that. So I, I disconnect him. I disconnect him. Some days go, many, many, many days, he called me to check and see what it was his. I said, the ministry is of Jesus. Jesus died and risen again. So the ministry will never die. It's growing. It's big. Yeah? And then he, say, he said, I, he didn't say any, any word. Because I refuse and I cancel it and I, I destroy every evil pronouncement. Every evil pronouncement that other people have against you, cancel it, refuse it, bring it to your feet and step on it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you, God. And broken covenants. This includes evil dedication, strange power, and corrective captivities. And broken covenants. This includes evil dedication, strange powers, and correctives. And correct, corrective captivities. Let's look in the book of Numbers 23, verse 23. Enchantment. Incense. Yes, I want to read it. Glory be the name of Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Look at this. Numbers 23, 23. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, this is what the Bible says. I want to rebuke and cast out every enchantment, incest, gents, and, divina and divinations. The Bible says, the Bible says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any, uh, any divin divinations. Ag uh, okay, let me repeat it properly. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said to Jacob and of Israel, what has God wrought? There shall be no enchantment. There shall be no curses. There shall be no any evil pronouncement against you. Where the name of Jacob is, put your name there. There shall be no enchantment against you, against Christine. There shall be no evil pronouncement against Christine. There shall be no enchantment against, against, against Christine. All hints, all gents, all divination. All error incarnation in the name of Jesus. I break them. I break them. I destroy them. Every unbroken covenant crying against me, speaking against me. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Pray. You destroy every unbroken covenant. There shall be no enchantment. There shall be no witchcraft. There is no a curse that will work against you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They, they consult sorcerers. Sakek, false prophets, witch doctors, occult mediums, and other satanic in in, in them intimidated against people. They 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 call they, they, they consult sorcerers, sakeks, false prophets, witch doctors, occult mediums, and other satanic intimidates against people. Those wicked of wicked, but the Bible says there shall be no enchantment, there shall be no witchcraft, there shall be no sakek. People they live by sakek. You know they, they take a lot of money to sakek to the, the sakek sakeks to tell them the future. The sakek they don't know nothing. They only use false and magic. They have no power. Occult mediums. And the other satanic intimidate, intimidate, intimidates against people. They have no power. Destroy their power. Break them. Destroy their power and bring them to your feet and step on them in the name of Jesus. Anybody, anyone that is being affected by sex, by false prophets, by witch doctors, occult mediums, and the other satanic intimidates intimidate against you. I set them fire. I command the fire of God to burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray like this. Every strange power, strange mirror, strange candle being used against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Shatter in the name of Jesus. Every strange power, strange mirror, strange candle being used against me. Shattered in the name of Jesus. Shut 
in the name of Jesus. You know there is strange power, strange mirror, strange candle. People, they burn candle. You know candle? They burn candle and speak against you. Third candle already they turn into their eyes and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. I command them because there is no curses that will work against you. I am breaking and stop every curses. They use can a candle to curse you. They use strange power to curse you. They use strange mirror. They, they, they use strange mirror. They call your name. They look at your mirror. And when you appear, they started incarnation. They started chanting. They started spells on you. They started cursing on you. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power using the mirror, using strange, strange power, using strange candles, let them burn to us as in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, evil foundation, you have to deal with power from foundation that wants to destroy you. Evil foundations, false foundation, false foundation. You, you, you have to deal with powers from your foundation that wants, to, that, that, that wants to ensure you do not prosper in your life. Those false foundation, they are the powers that, that has been there. That make, that make sure that you will never prosper. Remember, the curse that Jacob, Jacob issues to his son. He said, you shall not excel. So these powers, they are the powers that make, make, sure, make sure you will do, you will never prosper in your life. In the name of Jesus. So you, you have to deal with these powers. Ensure, ensure do not do prosper in life. Delay your blessings, including marriage, calling, career. They are the, these powers, they delay your blessings, including marriage, calling, career, business, manipulate you to make an, an undoable errors, undoable errors and mistakes. To, di, to, to, to divert and waste your destiny. Faulty foundation. They curse you. And when they cast you, you find yourself being making mistakes. They confuse you, they manipulate you, then you found it making uh, an, an abandonable, an, an abandonable errors and mistakes in order to divert and waste your destiny. There is no point a young man, a 20 years man, a 20 years young man going to prison that he killed somebody. And it did not kill the person. It was just he was there when these things happened. And then he was a victim. He didn't know what was the, 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 the friends were doing. Like you can come out to my house and tell me, Christine, let's go and take a cup of tea and Tim Orton. But I have no idea what you have done. Now, when the cops come and find us, they will arrest me. You didn't tell me anything. I am very innocent. But because you come and pick me and we went, then I've done something or I've, I've done robbery somewhere and uh, the police are looking for us, then you, you are a victim, you are victimized, you are being taken, no matter what you it is, you are among, among them. You, that's when you need to break the curses. You need to pray very hard. That's why many people are victim, innocent, but because of this curses that has been placed on them, programmed Therefore, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. These powers, including ancestral powers, familiar spirit, marine and witchcraft powers, they use various weapons, including evil patterns, correctives, captivities, placenta manipulation, and the problems from childhood to delay, to delay destiny, particularly colorful ones. When you are so colorful, when the witchcraft, when those wicked see you as a colorful person, remember what happened to Joseph. When, when his brothers saw Joseph, how he's going to, to be in the future, they were greedy, they were envious, they wanted to kill him. They didn't know how to curse him, but they said, no, we, we, will, not, we will not let you to grow in this family. So there are powers like that. They will see you, you are a colorful, they see you will prosper, they will start fighting you. Even your own mother, even your own father, your brothers and your sisters, they can be really jealous on you and they can go and hire barams 
who can cast you can put a curse on you and you know as as a family there's weakness there's some things that they are looking little little to catch you they will be looking even they can tell you go and close the door maybe you are doing something you said no i am doing something i'm not god this time go and close that door they, they insist and you say no i'm doing something because of that somebody get angry and start cursing you just argue little little argue after that, they cast because they were looking something to catch on you, to hold on you. Then after that, they put a curse on you. They will start calling you names. They will start cursing you. They say you are useless. You are rebellious. Because they have been looking something to put a curse on you. That's how it is. They study. As a, 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 a lady from England told me that she has never talked to his own brother for 20 years. They, they were from the same mother, the same father, but they, they the, his brother hates her own brother hates her so much so much that they don't talk 20 years the sister has done everything to bring this brother close but the brother says never it's only death can separate me and you I will never talk to you that, something like that that was a curse and that is witchcraft that's why you need to break such a curse in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise be the name of Jesus evil summons People are summoned to evil gatherings and evil judgments and pronouncements are made against them. Sickness and, and in, in insanity may, may also be put on them. People's placenta can also be used to summon them. I pray that all such judgment and evil pronouncement made against your life be revoked and be, by the blood of Jesus Christ. You know the placenta. You have no idea where your placenta is. Placenta is the biggest bis business business in the world. They take your placenta and they can go and manipulate and do evil against your placenta. The, the sickness and the in, 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 in insanity. People, many people who are crazy now, their head is not functioning. Their head is so damaged. That is sickness and the insanity they put on people. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. I pray that all such judgments and evil pronouncements made against your life be revoked by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Witchcraft powers. These powers specialized in bewitching and selling of destinies, particularly colorful ones. They used various witchcraft weapons to terrorize their victims. This include witchcraft Pots, dories, mortar, brooms, animals, and judgment. I pray that anyone who is using the broom, who is using the pot, who is using doras, dories, or mortar, I bring that, that, those two weapons to fire. I set them fire and I burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. I'm going to pray prayers. You repeat them. Repeat them. Whether you understand them or you don't understand them, just pray them. I will send to you. I am going to send these prayers if you need them. Request them and give your donation. If you don't give your donation, don't, don't, don't request these prayers. I am giving those people who are obedient because it cannot work for you. You need prayers, you need prayers, but you never give any donation. You don't want to participate. How can anything work for you? Because you are already rebellious. This prayer cannot work. It is not free. You have to, to give donation so that it can work for you. It doesn't matter. Some people, they give me $10, $20, and I bless them back because God has seen their faith. God has seen their faith. So when you give, give it with your whole heart, and God has seen you. It doesn't matter. So if you need this prayer, you request them, I will give it to you. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that God, by the power that created heaven and heart, God, I am coming before you to ask you, Lord, anything, any, any, anything that the enemy will use to curse me or to curse you, let it be destroyed. God forgive us. Pray anything that the, that the enemy can use to curse you. Anything that the enemy will use against you, let it go and ask the Father to forgive you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, yoke breaker, 
break every evil chain bind binding me to to problems in the name of jesus jesus christ yoke breaker break every evil chain binding me to problems because jesus is a yoke breaker he will break every chain binding you to problems he will break every curses binding you he will break every curses in the name of jesus every satanic agenda aside against my progress scatter by fire in the name of jesus pray like this every satanic agenda aside against my progress scatter by fire in the name of jesus i pray that every satanic agenda assigned against your progress i command them to scatter in the name of jesus let them scatter in the name of jesus there is a satanic agenda that's why i tell you that somebody can come to you and he has done crime and you have no idea that this person can come and bring you and destroy your life for no reason that is a hidden agenda any satanic agenda against your life I destroy them in Jesus name every weapon of affliction assigned against your life backfire backfire in the name of Jesus every weapon of affliction assigned against your life backfire in the name of Jesus pray like that pray every weapon of affliction assigned against my life backfire I, I pray that every affliction, every sickness, every curse that is working in your life backfire. Let it go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of stagnancy in your life break now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every satanic, say every yoke of stagnancy. You know you are stagnant. You are circle. You are never go anywhere. You do this, you do this, nothing working for you. You circle yourself. I, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I break every yoke of stagnancy in the name of Jesus. I dry up that stagnancy. I cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power, spirit or personality going about, about, about you for sake, I cut you, I cut your legs. And you are hands in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer. Pray like this. Every power, spirit or personality, going about for my sake. I cut off your legs and your hands in the name of Jesus. Cut their hands. Cut their legs. Those legs that are, are going about for your sake. Cut them. Wherever they are going for, for looking for sake, false prophet against you. Cut their legs. Cut their hands in the name of Jesus. Cut them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil sitting, hallelujah, glory be the name of Jesus. Every evil thing meritering against you through the mouth gate, I command them to die by fire. Let them die by fire in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power harboring enchantment against you, fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, I command every power harboring enchantment against you, fall down and die. You know, the Bible says, Numbers 23, 23, there shall be no enchantment, there shall be no witchcraft. Therefore, any witchcraft, any curses happening against you, I command them to fall down and die. I break them. I break every curses. I break them in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will break every curses. Jesus Christ, yoke breaker, break every curses. Break, 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 break every curses. That is working against you in the name of Jesus. Every abolist working on your name, be frustrated by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Every herbalist, witchcraft, witch doctors, using your name, calling your name, and chanting your name, let it, let it be frustrated. Let him be frustrated. Let all his connection, let every enchant, every, in, in, every spells not work. When they mention your name, they shall not work. He will try, try, or she, they will try to call your name. They will try from morning to evening. It will not work in the name of Jesus. Remember, 
when Elijah asked those witchcraft, those witchcraft to call their God, they called their God from morning to evening, nothing happened. It shall be the same to you. When they call your name, when they want to chant on you, they will not, it will not work. The apostles will be paid. The false prophet will be paid. The powers will be paid. Balaams will be paid. But they will never work for you. If they will call, they will do everything, but they will never prosper in the name of Jesus. I am cutting them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil altar and priest using evil chains to manipulate your life, I command them to cut fire and be roasted in the name of Jesus. Every evil, evil altar and priest using evil chains to manipulate your life, I command them to cut fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every evil altar and a priest using evil chains to manipulate your life. I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Be roasted. Be roasted. Be roasted. Be roasted. Be roasted in the name of Jesus. Evil altars. I break the evil altars. I cast them and I destroy them. I bring the fire of God to burn that, that altars in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Every evil chain tying you down, break and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. This is the chain that is tying so many lives. When you are tied, you cannot move, you can't do anything. Because this chain is tied so hard. In the name of Jesus, every evil chain tying you down, break and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. I am praying by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every evil chain Try tying you down, break and burn to ashes in the, in the name of Jesus. Let that chain be broken. Let that chain be break and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, fire and the thunder of God attack all witchcraft power working against you in the name of Jesus. I am commanding every fire, I command the fire and the thunder of God to attack all witchcraft power working against you in the name of Jesus. Let God Almighty release his thunder and lightning and fire to, to, to go to the camp of the witchcraft and their powers and that is using against you. Let them burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Fire and the thunder of God attack all witchcraft powers working against you in the name of Jesus. Let them let, let the fire and the thunder of God attack them, all witchcraft powers working against you in the name of Jesus. Pray like this. Hallelujah. Fire and the thunder of God attack all witchcraft powers working against me in the name of Jesus. Fire and the thunder of God attack all witchcraft powers working against me in the name of Jesus. I am attacking every witch. This prayer, the witchcraft, they don't want. It is true. The, the fire and the thunder of God, they located them. And they thundered them properly. That's why they wrote me a letter and warned me. That's why a woman was calling me to tell me not to pray this prayer. I am repeating this prayer. If you can get this prayer, you pray it ten times. Fire and the thunder of God. Attack all witchcraft powers working against me in the name of Jesus. Fire and the thunder of God. Attack all witchcraft powers working against you in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft power working against your children, working against your marriage, working against you. Let the fire and the thunder of God locate them and consume them in Jesus' name. You, they need the thunder, they need the fire of God. There is no point you become, you become a single. Yeah? You lose your husband, you lose your wife because of witchcraft. Because of witchcraft. Therefore, send fire and the thunder of God to attack all the witches and powers working against your marriage, working against your children, working against your career, your work. Send the thunder and the fire of God working against your business. You cross down your business because of witchcraft. They have put ambogo in your business. You can't sell, you can't do anything. So you went up bankrupt. You went, you have no money because of the powers of witchcraft. Set fire and the thunder over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, thank you. Power, every power binding you and your destiny, I command them to release you and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power representing you in the demonic world, I separate yourself now from, from you and set you on fire. Pray this prayer. Pray every, everything representing me in the, in the demonic world. 
I separate myself from you. And I set you on fire in Jesus' name. Anything that is representing you in the, in the demonic world, separate yourself and set them fire. That is the only key. That's how you will deal with them. That when you set them fire, they will not excel. They will not move in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every chain binding your hands, I shake you off. Shake your hands violently. Shake your hands violently. Shake it, shake it. Every chain binding my hands, I shake you off. I shake you off. You know, Paul, when the snake beat fight Paul in his hands, what did Paul do? He shake his hand and put the creature in the fire. So you don't know in the spiritual world. If the snake is hanging your hands, if the snake is tying your hands, so you shake it, you throw it in the fire. The fire of God. Shake your hands like this and throw it into the fire. And a chain tying your, your hand. I shake you. I shake you. I shake you. I shake you. I shake you to the fire. I shake you to the fire. Shake it. Shake it very hard. Very, very gently. Shake it. Shake it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Re baba ba shi toro robo kuriya baba ba shi tarara ba shi ro robo kuriya re baba ba shi toro robo shi tarara ba shi ro robo kuriya baba ra shaka kopi saboro sa rumbo so tarara saka priya ba sam yes thank you Jesus Lord I thank you every chain binding your legs made by fire shake your legs every chain binding your legs every chain I did feet, washing feet. Now shake your legs. Say, every chain binding my legs made by fire. Get up and shake those, those, those eggs off in the name of Jesus. I shake you, 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 I shake you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, fire and shake your legs, fire in the name of Jesus. Every chain finding my legs, I melt by fire, melt by fire, melt by fire. Melt by fire, 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 melt by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Every evil chain tying around my waist to make to yoke me to an evil pastor break and die. Every evil chain tie around my waist. To yoke me to an evil past stop. Break and die. In the name of Jesus. Pray like this. Every evil chain tied around, tied around my waist. My waist to yoke me to an evil past stop. Break. This prayer is going to deliver thousands of people around the world. There are the chains that tie you waist. So it yokes you with the past stops. It yokes you with evil past stop. It yokes you with evil, with evil people. There are some people you don't need to be in your life. There are some wicked and evil people. That's why when evil comes, all people come and deceive you, and they, they deceive you, they, make, they, they manage to deceive you. Because there is an evil chain tied around the West. When witchcraft wants to come to you, they will send that evil tie, chain tied around your West, through dreams and through their satanic incarnation, chant spells. When they spell on you, then they get access and then they come and tie you. And now they, when they tie you, they get connection. Therefore, I destroy and, and command that, 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 that chains to be set fire and break to pieces in Jesus' name. Every chain tie on your neck, loose and, 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 and go. In the name of Jesus. Let it loose and go in Jesus' name. There's a chain tying your neck very hard. That's why some people you find it difficult even to breathe. You find it even to swallow. Even sometimes you feel something is suffocating you. Those are the chains that they put on your neck to suffocate you to death. You command them to let you go in the name of Jesus. Every evil chain tightening your brain. I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes. They are a spiritual memory. When these chains are tightening your brain, so you lose your memory. That's why many people, they lose their memory. They have no head. The people, they say, this person is head. He doesn't have a head. You have the head, but in the spiritual world, you have no head. Because your head has been damaged so much. They have put a chain inside. They are tying you, and you have no idea. 
That's why you need to, to pray, the, do, you need to set fire. You command every evil chain, tighten my brain, catch fire and burn to, to ashes in Jesus' name. You pray like this. Glory be the name of Jesus. I have to stop here. I cannot go all over. So I'm going to stop here because I see we have to stop here. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I, I give all the glory, Jesus. My God, I, I want to bless your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I pray that I have about, I have about, about that prayers that you need to go, you need to pray. And I will continue them, or if I don't continue them, God knows, so we will continue uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow midnight. Midnight, I will continue. We are on midnight. We don't, we are not, we don't have prayer in the morning. We are going back to midnight again. Tomorrow, midnight, tomorrow, Monday, midnight, 12 midnight. Prayer rain will be on. Uh, everything will be on. Midnight, tomorrow, Monday. We have four nights. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All the prayers are nights. No, 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 eight o'clock. Please, no eight o'clock prayers. It is all nights. Midnight. And then, and then on, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have mornings. So you go to our website and please check the information. Check there in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will help you. Claudette, call me after the prayer. I see some people are calling me, but I'm not going to pick to talk to them. I am I am here praying. So I I pray that anybody who has been who have been attacked by the curses, who have been curses has been issues against you. I am reverse them and I break them. I destroy them in Jesus' name. I stop every curse working against you, against your life in Jesus' name. I pray that God will deliver you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Go to our website, www.overcomersdheadministry.blogspot.ca Call me or email to me. Our number is 647-608. 5207. You can also reach me to this number 905-487-7196. We have a free line if you are calling from states. If you don't have a wrong distance, we have free line here 877-241-3420 extension 108. This extension, if you call me, you will get me. It's a free line. You don't pay. You just take your phone and call me. 877-241-3420. Extension 101. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow midnight. If you need prayer, you need me to pray for you, you are welcome. I'm here for you. I will pray for you. If you feel like you have uh, curses you want me to break for you, yeah, I can. I'm here for you to pray with you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Remember to donate. You've been getting a lot from me, but you don't want to donate. Donate something, and I will pray for you. God will bless you. If you have, I told yesterday, I said, if you are facing very difficult financial problem, call me. Attach your offering, you will see. God will open windows of heaven and bless you. The Bible says God will rebuke the devourer because of your sake. If you have been giving your tithe and offering in your church, and your devourer has not been broken, Call me, I will break that devour for you. I am here to break every curse holding your finances. You, where your money is being held, I am praying that God will release them in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Tomorrow midnight, I am going to give a lot of prophecy to you. Not every day that I will be giving prophecy because that is what many people want. I'm not like that. You've been receiving a lot of prophecy. What have you done with your prophecy? What have you done with your prophecy? I give specifically prophecy that you will prosper. Like my prophecy, always, always, it works. Like when I call up the woman I saw, the man I saw, it, they give testimony, they get healed. Because you cannot be prophesied and then nothing is happening. You have to take your prophecy action. You pray until you, you see your prophecy has been fulfilled. So I'm on tomorrow midnight, I'm going to give prophecy through prayer, not periscope. 
So if you want me to prophesy, to minister to you, come on, on, on prayer line. Come on prayer line. So the prayer line number, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. I know, sister, you have your, the prayer line number. The prayer line number is 712-755-7085. 7085. The prayer line number 712-775-7085. The access code number 595119. If you are from another country, you want me to minister to you, to prophesy to you on the prayer line, call this number 712-755-7085. Access code number 59119. All, if you need private, you have to call me. Then you say, I need privacy. Private, I can minister to you private. If you don't want people to hear, that one also I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for coming. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow, uh, tomorrow midnight. Tomorrow midnight, 12 o'clock. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it.